Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES, and I'm very excited to share with you the new Google integration feature called Google Drive Assignments in Schoology that was recently released in the summer of 2017. This new integration feature gives teachers some new abilities when assigning a set, uh, homework tasks in Schoology and gives a whole new way for both teachers and students to look at Google files that have been turned in as assignments in Schoology. Just a few quick notes about this video. First, my districts primarily use Chromebooks, so I'll be focusing on the web interface of Schoology and not the mobile app interface. Second, for the sake of simplicity in this video, I'm only going to show you the interface with Google Docs, but rest assured, I've tested both Google Sheets and Google Slides, and they both perform with the same flawless integration. Third, I'll be switching between a teacher and a student view throughout this video. So to help you keep track, I'll put up this banner when I'm in the teacher perspective and this banner when I'm in the student's perspective. Now I hope when your admins push this app out to you through Schoology, you're not gonna have to do anything to grab it. But when you try this with your classes, if the Google uh, Drive assignment button isn't there, just shoot me an email at this email address and I'll help you through the process. But this new integration feature with Google allows you, the teacher, to interact with a Google file directly within Schoology in the same way you would interact if you were in Google Drive or Docs, Sheets, or Slides. You may have to sign in with your Google account to authorize the app the first time you use it, similar to how you authorize the Google resource app in Schoology. As far as understanding the full functionality of this app at this time, please understand that I haven't had a ton of time to test it, um, but I got a good idea. I'm willing to bet that this integration won't work if students simply submit a Google file to assignment that you create. I may, be, I may be wrong there, but let's just call it a hunch. So let's look at how you as a teacher can set up an assignment to make sure that you get all these features. Now, this is the first time that I'm setting it up with these apps. So in the first view, it may not have everything we want to see, and I'll come back to it in the video. But from the teacher's view, so yep, there's the banner, uh, you want to go into your course. So for this one, I'll go into Sandbox 2. And just like before, you're going to create a new assignment and fill in all of the items that you are used to filling in. So we'll click on Add Materials, Add Assignment, and then we're going to fill in at the very minimum the name, because that has an asterisk, and the category. Now you'll see already this is the new change. Woo! But I'll fill this stuff in here real quick for you and flash forward in the video to save some time. Okay, so I have my name, I have my category in there, and if I wanted, I could put a due date and change the points and all that great stuff. But next, next to Assign From App, I have Google Drive Assignments. I'm going to click on that, and this is gonna be where you may need to authorize access to your Google account the very first time you do it, but it's gonna take me into Google Drive and uh, I can basically click on the file that I want to use as my template. You'll see it highlights, and then I'll click attach. Now we'll talk about some best practices for like naming the files and providing files in the next video. But you click attach, and notice it says to the right, this will create a copy of your file for each student. That's awesome. We'll take a look at what that looks like in the student perspective in just a second. Then you hit create. Now, right now, it really doesn't look any different than the previous Schoology assignments did, but when I click into it, it looks totally different, but it still behaves the same way. Under the Assignment tab, notice there's Assignments, In Progress, and Submissions. Under the Assignment tab, that shows me the assignment, any attached files, and any information that I've put there uh, for my students. The In Progress tab, I'm not going to look at it right now because you won't see it all, but that offers a live view of the Google Doc as the student is looking at it. But interestingly enough, if I click on it, it tells me right now they haven't even opened the assignment, so that's a way of keeping track of them. And then submissions, again, no one submitted anything yet, but that's where uh, when a student clicks submit on their end, it's going to put the file into submissions and sever the editing connection for the student. You as the teacher will still have the full Google Docs functionality in here, but any edits that the student makes to their document, which will still be in progress, those edits won't show up in the submissions. 
Now, I assume that students will be able to submit multiple attempts just like they previously could, and it would say revision one, revision two, revision three, etc. So to give you a better idea of what this looks like, I also want to take a peek at what this looks like from the student perspective. Now, from the student side of things, I can still go into Schoology, I can click on the assignment, I can see any information, and I can get access to my documents. Now you notice the first time I sign in, I have to connect my account. This is similar to how it will look like for a teacher. So I'll click connect, and then I'm just gonna sign in with my school account. So here we go, and we'll go through and say allow, life is good. And after just a few seconds of loading, uh, you can see that I now have a document here and it looks just like a Google Doc. It's embedded the Google document into Schoology. This, I'm just so thrilled about this, I can't even begin to tell you. Okay, sorry about that edit, but I just learned something new. So like we said, in through Schoology, I can go in and I can start working on this document. My typing skills are awful, but there we go. I can start working on this document, that's great. But because this is a Google Doc, it also exists in the student's Google Drive. So if I head over to My Drive, you'll notice in the quick access that's now featured in Google Drive, it's right here. But if that doesn't show up, these files go to Shared With Me. And if you also notice, the document gets renamed. It gets renamed with the student's name in front and then what I'm guessing is a student identifier at the end, but I'm not 100% sure of that. But uh, from my drive or shared with me, I can click on that and open it and you notice it's the same file. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. This means that I can go in and I can work on it from either side. And if you notice, here's me as the teacher looking at it. We'll get to that in just a second. Um, the teacher can access the file from within Schoology and the student can access this, this from within Google Drive or vice versa roles. And the idea is you'd never know which environment the other person is in because it's truly a flawless integration between Schoology and Google Docs. So I'm just thrilled that as a student, I can go in here and I can work. And if we flip over to the teacher's perspective, if I now refresh this, I can see that that sample kid has started working on the document and I can say, yup, and give them feedback right in here. I can also highlight their work and add a comment just like you can in Google Docs. O M. G, how awesome. Now, yes, I did switch over to this teacher view if you didn't catch that, um, but the two sides look exactly the same. Um, the other thing this does for the teacher is in your Google Drive, you'll now notice that there is a folder that Schoology made for you called Schoology Google Drive Assessments. Uh, and within that, you'll see subfolders with the names of your courses, and then within that, folders with the for each assignment and for each student. So again, just another way that you can get there. Pretty darn awesome. So that is a somewhat brief explanation of the new Google Drive integration for Schoology that was released in the summer of 2017. There may be some follow-up videos to this one as we learn more about it, but I'm really excited for this to be available to you all. In a future video, we'll talk about some tips for providing templates, files to your students. But as always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me and thank you for watching.